I think in truth that Broken Arrow is doing an exceptional job of communicating honestly and openly with our parents and students and staff members. There's more information out there from Broken Arrow than perhaps there is and or should be from other school districts in the area. We've been communicating quite a bit through each individual school site. Um, we're taking the stance that it's, it's business as usual as far as school is concerned, but advising the parents and students of certain precautions that need to be taken. The incidences that have been reported here in Broken Arrow have been mild and of the uh, few that we're aware of, two of those are already back in school again and have been uh, fever free for greater than 24 hours so they're eligible to return to classes as usual. Typically what happens is uh, they present to a physician and the physician does a, a, a nasal swab for flu and it comes back A strain positive which makes that student at that point highly suspect for H1N1. We have a system in Broken Arrow called Schoolcast and it gives us the opportunity to to direct dial multiple households to, re, to relay this information and that's what we've done for every site thus far that we've had any kind of a, of a suspect case of H1N1. I would tell parents if they have any questions or concerns that they should contact their school nurse or they can look at our website or look at the CDC's website. It is very inclusive as far as information for parents. We're staying in touch with Tulsa City County and state, state Departments of Health tracking exactly how this, is, how this has been identified at those levels as far as contagion is concerned. What we're primarily looking at is fever with headache, sore throat, cough kind of symptoms, primarily upper respiratory and in some cases we do indeed have some diarrhea and vomiting type symptoms but, but first and foremost the upper respiratory with fever. It's spread by, by, by water droplets that, that are contained in a, a sneeze or a cough or, or a, um, mouth to hand to contact surface of some sort. So again, all the, all the more importance on washing hands, washing hands, washing hands, I can't say that enough, and encouraging our youngsters to keep their hands away from their eyes, nose, and mouth. Uh, extra efforts on cleaning and uh, emphasis on hand washing and, and uh, communicating to parents and students that if we have illness in the household that they need to, they need to stay home, they need to be isolated.